I'm gonna show you how to make a dialog box in Excel that will show the users a custom message. And first I'm just gonna start out simple and show you how to create a simple message. But then I'm gonna go more advanced and then I'm gonna show you how to create conditional statements with the dialog box. So you gotta go to your VBA interface by clicking on Alt and then F11. This is gonna open up a new pop-up window. And then once you're inside, you click on the insert button and then click on module. Then you wanna type in sub and then message box with parentheses and then after that create a variable called result so i'm going to say result is equal to the message box and then inside parentheses i'm going to put in the prompt or the text that the user is going to see which is just a simple welcome message now if i click f5 on my keyboard which runs the module then it's gonna show me a nice pop-up window that says welcome and so you could get more complex with this and the message box basically has five arguments the first one is prompt which is the text that the user is going to see in the box the second one is the buttons the third argument is the title of the box and the fourth and fifth argument is the help file and the context now most of the time people usually just deal with the first three arguments so i'm just going to be showing you those arguments in this video so let's say that I want to show yes and no buttons instead of just the OK button. So I can do that by entering in a second argument. So I just have to put a comma after the first argument and then say VB yes, no. And there's a list of all the different kinds of button types that I'm going to provide in the description below. So you can check that out if you wanna go more in depth. Now, if I run this, then it's gonna show me yes or no instead of just the plain okay button. Now, I could also add the title of the box by putting in the third argument. And so I could make the title whatever I want, but I'm just gonna say yes or no. And if I do that, now you can see that the title has changed. Notice that in the box, there's no icon that shows up, but we can add a specific icon by going to the second argument and saying plus VB, and then we can say exclamation. And if you run that, now it's gonna show a warning sign next to the text. You can also create conditional statements for the dialog boxes. So let's just say that a user clicks on one of the buttons and after they do that, you can make them see another message based on the button that they click. And so to do this, we're gonna create an if and else statement. So let me say if the result, which is the variable of the box, is equal to VB yes, then, then the message box will say, you pressed yes. And then say else, which means that if the user press no, then you can say, you press no. And then make sure to end the if statement. And so what this basically does is, if the user clicks on the yes button, there's gonna be another dialog box that says, you press yes, and then if the user clicks no, then it's gonna say, you press no. So let's just see how that turns out. So if I click F5, then it says welcome, then I click yes, then it says you press yes. And so that's looking good. Now let's try the other condition. So it says welcome, let's press no, and it says you press no. So you can see how I created a working dialog box inside the module code, but there's a lot more you can do with the module. So make sure to check out another video that I made where I create modules to highlight rows, columns, and automatically add a color scale. And so I hope to see you there.